Hello, I am Mal and welcome back to Master of Orion. So today we're going to jump in with one of the new Phase 3 uh, races that was added, the uh, Silicoids. And these rock fellows actually don't require any food. Now the devs said they may change this, they're kind of monitoring to see how it plays out, but I'm really interested in playing this uh, particular Empire. I haven't had a chance to play them, so I'm jumping into it right now. All right, so we'll do obviously single player, new game. Hailing from alone in their unique composition, the Silicoid are an ancient race of silicon-based life forms from the planet Chrysalon. Their impressively long lifespans and abysmally low birth rates have resulted in a civilization of relatively few individuals with lots of experience. The oldest among them is known as the Keystone, ruler of the Silicoid and speaker for the Crag. As outcasts among other alien races, they see other races as fleeting, temporary blurs that leave nothing behind but trouble for the Crag. All right, so let's go through their starting traits. They have a large home world. It is a Inferno biome. Now that is a Uber planet uh, upgrade. Uh, they have the ability to turn volcanic worlds into infernal worlds. And if you're not familiar with Uber planets, there are special traits that allow them to get significant or what used to be significant bonuses by changing certain planet types over. And all um, races that have an Uber planet upgrade will now start their homeworld on said upgrade. So in this case, we'll have the upgraded volcanic world. They do receive a minus 25% research from population, but that does not count against um, additional research per pop technology. So if you get something like advanced research tech and you put advanced research centers on your planets for plus one per, my understanding is that this negative 25 will not apply to that, but this is certainly a penalty, no doubt about it. Now there's ways to get around it. Uh, and I think once you get to the mid and or late game, it's probably gonna be mostly a non-issue. It just means a little bit slow start on the research. Now here's the part where I was saying the devs are gonna keep a close eye on the no food consumption. They don't generate or consume any food. That's kind of a big deal. So I'm kind of interested too how the growth works with them since it's fueled by food. Uh, anyway, I guess we'll find out, but very, very cool, very, very cool uh, race, and I'm, I'm, I'm been looking forward to playing them. So let's get to it. Let's see. Why, why are you? What's going on here? That's weird. Okay, now it seems to be okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Silicoid, Terran. Uh, let's do, let's change it up a little bit. Um, Ulrathi. Okay, now, hold on now. Why are you, why are you guys not showing the picture? It's so strange. Well, it is still early access after all. How about Mechlar? You're not showing up either? Okay. I think it'll still work regardless if the picture shows up or not. And maybe the Sakura? Well, no, we need the other new race. Wait a minute, hold on, what am I saying? We need the Darlock. So, Terran, Darlock, and Sakura. That's, <laughs> that's that's a pretty tough lineup. We're gonna go with the uh, Circle Galaxy type on small, and I'll continue to play on, on small Galaxy types because it, it forces interaction very quickly. Uh, and it's basically the toughest setup that you can currently do. So you do Circle, Small, and then you you know select very hard, and that's, like I said, about as tough as you can get it. All right, so let's see. Random events? Sure. We'll leave research on normal. Uh, yep, no pirates. Allow racial traits. Um, let's see. I'm going to put all victory types in, including the new technological one, which is not good when you're playing the silicoid, but we'll see. I'd be okay with losing, um, you know, a game or two. I'm all right with that. As long as I learn something and everybody has fun watching. And that I have fun playing it. Uh, okay, anything else? Nope, looks good. Let's do it. Even more so than any other race in the galaxy, the Silicoid Crag stands alone. Expanding slowly from their home world, Chrysalon, 
the silicoid race seeks little in the way of galactic interaction. Unique in every way imaginable, these reclusive and antisocial beings shun outside contact, seeking only to be left to their own means. In this ever-crowded galaxy, the solitude they seek may well come at the expense of all other life forms. Oh, a pretty cool cutscene. Okay. Da, da, da. Um, if you see this uh, new icon right here for espionage, I'll talk about this a little bit as we get closer to it. It's not really going to be a big focus for me playing the the silicoids. I do have another Let's Play where I'm playing the uh, Darlocks, which I go in, in in depth in this. And then there's, there's also a Phase 3, Early Access Phase 3 news update that I'll be releasing uh, probably the same day that this releases. And it goes over the espionage system, which was just, just, just released uh, in great detail. So if you want to see that, you can click on the links below this video to check those out. Okay, let's see. Large Inferno Abundant. Okay, so, yeah, research is not so great. Okay, so we'll just switch to some production here. Colony ship cost is increased. That was one of the other changes, just so you know. Um, hmm. I grab... An extra scout first. And then a colony ship. Now, how does the population growth thing work for you? Just have a base of one no matter what? Next population in seven turns. And then I guess modified by tech, like cloning and stuff? But they don't have they don't require any food, so it's not gonna lower their food requirement. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, we'll just have to see and get used to it. The planet looks awesome, though. Look at that. Very nice. All right, let's go change to our Texas to four per because why not? A segment of your. Okay, this will be a gas planet, I'm assuming. Yep, it'd be nice if just occasionally something else was in your system besides something stupid like that. Just occasionally, you know, just sort of like. Just humor us, right? Okay, so frigate this way. Mm, a yellow sun. Likely a decent planet over here. Oh, scout. Wait, are you a scout? Why did you both go? I didn't want you both to go this way. That was a mistake. No, oh, it's okay. We'll go like that. That'll fix that problem. And then this scout can go here. And I'm gonna hope that there's a connection here. And that there's a decent plan over here. And I'm gonna head... I'm gonna go ahead and head the colony ship that way. What dendrite of knowledge should these ones pursue, Keystone? Oh, that's cool. Let's see. Oh, yep. This is new. Little tags that tell you recommendations by different advisors. Very neat. Helpful for new players. In this um, I think we're just going to double down on production because that's kind of what we got going for us. Excuse this interruption, Keystone. Medium radiated, meh. Well, actually, hold on. Yeah, radiated I probably don't want, but the biomes in general now, not needing any food, uh, kind of changes things a little bit for us. We want this, that's for sure. Okay, so we'll boogie over there.
just a shard of your consciousness. What do we got here? Ultra rich large? Oh, yes, please. I love it when the colony ships land. One of my favorite things in this game. Yeah, because it, it feels, you know, it, it's like, you know, it is an event. It feels very epic. As it should, right? Expanding the reaches of our empire. Okay, what can you do right now? Marine barracks? No. I guess you could work on a space factory? Yeah, it's fine. We can start. It'll be useful, even if we don't finish it right now. Oh, heavy gravity? Really? Darn it. I didn't notice that. It'll be okay, but... Pardon this intrusion. Large, rich Terran with seagrass. <laughs> Not all that helpful for us. I mean, the fact that it's got a decent biome and that it's rich is good, but like seagrass, extra food? It's like, how's that gonna affect somebody that doesn't, they don't eat? Funny game. Funny. the frigate head this way oh we've got an anomaly up there okay hold on can we change course yes we can good huge toxic ultra rich so i guess a world like this would be good for us then right because we don't care about the biome really i mean the toxic thing does adversely affects the affect the colony, but hmm, I and mean, it seems pretty good though, really, for our purposes. Arriving at the anomaly. Ninety credits. Okay, take it. With each new discovery, automated factory crag... good what dendrite so if you want to get to um, spying if you want to get to espionage quickly in your games then what you're gonna to want to do actually is government and then go with Xeno relations to pick up the spy center you build the spy center and then it'll automatically start training spies for you and sort of start opening up the options uh, again I'm not gonna be really focusing on that in this let's play however again I do have a Darlock cabal let's play that I'm releasing starting that the same day as this one so if you really want to check that stuff out then that's the let's play for you okay let's see deep scanner both turns that would speed things up let's grab electronics excuse this interruption population grew Medium, arid, rich. Wow, this is... Okay, this is where we're coming next. And a volcanic planet? Wow, yeah, we will be coming here next. This is going to be the one. Head over there. How long until that is done? Six turns, okay. Welcome to GNN, Galactic News Network. Do not panic, but long-range scanners have detected a gigantic space dragon lurking in a previously unexpected sector of space. Oh, now, Space Star. Dragon Bob, okay. 
the GNN messages have all sort of been revamped and improved. It's pretty cool. And if I didn't mention it already, um, military power uh, rating on ships or and or creatures in this case have been changed and now represented by both an attack and defense rating. So like example, uh, Bob the Space Dragon here has got 130 attack rating and 805 defense versus like our frigate. Was it like 5 and 13 or something? 5 and 32. We can't we can't take him on. It's unlikely we would win. Yeah. Okay, what do we got here? Large toxic abundant. Everybody's still moving. Yep, okay. We'll check this out next. There's probably something pretty decent there. Pardon this intrusion, Keystone. I gotta kinda retrain my thought process though and not be as concerned about the biomes and more concerned about the production slots, I guess. Where's it here? Okay. Oh hi! The hindmost of the Dalok Cabal greets you. We are sure we'll have much and more to discuss. Mm-hmm. Oh, if I can catch him, I'm... Yeah, where are you going? Are you going this way, or are you going back to your system? Is that Nazine? It is, right? Oh, okay. They're right there. Interesting. Check those out over there. How are you coming along? Next population seven turns, huh? Okay, let's grab an automated factory. Um, and then I guess I guess you could build a starbase for maybe another ship. Yeah, let's do a frigate. Haven't looked at the uh the new ship designer. Let's do that right now. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, look how cool their ships are. Nice. Okay, so edit. You've got all your available items over here, and then what you do is just grab stuff to take it off. So see, 065, it's already empty. What's the alternate look like? Oh, that's, that's pretty cool looking. And the theme? Yeah, I think like this looks really good. Uh, you can also sort. So as an example, we just wanted to see what do we have in terms of weapon systems. These are our available weapons. Um, weapon miniaturization tech as well as weapon modification tech is now in the game. So um, as an example, with this nuclear missile that I'm hovering over, um, you can research uh, several times miniaturization for it. So you could end up with uh, small missiles that you modify to do significant damage. In theory, that's the way it should work. Kind of like it did in Master of Orion 2, which I loved building like little ships like with the uh, Merv warhead nuke missiles on them that were fast. So much fun. Uh, but we're going to keep it simple and just go for a couple of neutron blasters. Actually, you know what? No, we're not because we don't really have any computer systems, right? No, we don't. So our aim's gonna really, really suck. So we'll use we'll use missiles for now. For systems, we need a drive. We need armor. Well, that's all we need, really. Okay, so Hmm. What if we remove that? Forty nine 
minus 65 and then we do this or two yeah that's a little bit more efficient okay so that'll give us attack rating of six defense rating of nine Why only nine Didn't it say our existing frigate had like a defense rating of like 32 or something? Why is that, I wonder? Maybe it had point defense on it. Eh, uh, maybe. But we'll go with this, this is fine. I think I let that colony ship get away. Small toxic ultra rich. Uh, or it might have been going the other direction for all I know. Wasn't paying close enough attention to it, I guess. Oh, really? You want to fight right now, huh? Well, uh, okay. I mean, these ships are basically identical, so I guess it's just luck. Yeah. Just RNG who wins? Frigate to frigate. Mano a mano. Oh. Tactical combat's different. It's cool. Where's. Uh, did they take stuff out? Kinda... yeah, they did. Interesting. Okay, well... Get rid of that. Nine laser cannons. And what does he have? Don't know. Probably the exact same thing. Oh, I was clicking on the wrong ship. That's why I didn't have my information. It's faster, seems like it. I mean, I know I'm fighting with like small ships here, but. That's cool. Probably gonna lose this. Yeah. Am I flying backwards? Yeah, I am. Oh, that's pretty funny. And we're gonna die. No! <laughs> the new combat seems a lot smoother, though. Yeah, way more responsive. Oh, look at the battle damage. It looks badass. All right, we lose. Would helped. It would have helped if I had like controlled my one, my, you know, frigate from the onset. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. This is GNN Galactic News. A segment of your attention. Ah, there we go. New colony ship. Hmm. And we could really mess with them. And take this right here and then fortify it. And I am tempted to do that. It's, it almost feels like a way, it feels wasted though to do it. And again, we will have uh, a space factory available, like, in a turn. 
You know what? I'm gonna do it. Head over there. And do I have anything else I can send? Not at the moment. A segment of your attention. Hey, okay, head that way. Medium Gaia, huh? It'd be interesting to colonize those and see kind of what it does for us since we don't need food. I mean, in theory, it would still have additional, um, like, popula population slots. Yeah, based on size, because they did change that in the rebalance. Oh, it's still... I think it still matters, the biome that we get. It just doesn't matter as much. Oh, he took it. Yeah. That was smart on his part. Okay. Well, if you're going to take that, then I guess I'll go up here. Hmm. This rich Terran. So that we can sort of start blocking him in. Yeah, let's backtrack with the colony ship. And then we'll backtrack with our space factory as well. Okay, let's go check out that anomaly. You find the planet inhabited by the pious Akirans. A race of aquatic beings who have forsaken technology in search of spiritual illumination. They claim to live in peace and harmony with nature, but they know full well the dangers their holistic existence faces when confronted with the might of visitors from beyond the stars. Okay, so this is a new addition in Phase 3 of Early Access of Master of Orion. We have these minor civilizations, so this would be... Something similar to city-states in Civilization V, um, or the different factions in Endless Legend. Um, I actually think it's closest to an older game called Star Trek Birth of the Federation, but let's take a look. Okay, so here's our current status. They have no quests to give us. We can... their class is Researchers. Okay, interesting. That would be nice for us since we're so, you know, research limited here, especially at the beginning. We can give him a gift, huh? All right, let's give him 50 bucks. Let's check out the rest of their system. Another colony ship. We'll just keep cranking them out. Okay, we've got a frigate too. We're going to move... Put you here. I really want to get to their home system and take a look, so I'm going to try that. Aaron, and then large or huge Arid. Yeah, that's a good system. Kind of suspected it would be. Okay, well, we're off to a decent start, I think, folks. I hope that you've enjoyed it so far, and if you have, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, I am Mal, and I'll see you later.